Alice is not about to let Aaronville out of her sight. Aaronville was heading west westwards along the path outside the Archeon. Come on, we can still catch him. Oh, it's going well. Thank you for the resub. Even if we happen to find Aaronville in the company of said agent, we cannot expect them to reveal issues of importance as we will, as we nonchalantly stroll past. Nay, we shall have to remain undetected. If only Graha and his vanished spell were here. If only. Oh, but there are other ways of turning invisible. Hippity hop, my little toads. Goodness. Oh, like actual toads. Are the, the toads are snapping. Okay. Okay. Unaccustomed to transfiguration? Worry not, it will wear off within with the passage of time. I suggest you and your green compa companions hop along and catch up with Aaronville. Should you feel the magics fading, return to me and I will refresh the enchantment. Um, and what am I to do in the meantime? Wait here with me. In your current state of mind, you'd be as likely to leap into the jaws of a predator as you would learn anything of note. Jesus. Oh, she's so sad now. Which reminds me, where are the creatures hereabouts? In that form, you are essentially defenseless. You couldn't have made us into something not defenseless? You have changed into a toad! You must remain transfigured in order to progress with the quest objectives. You will return from your transfigured status if you move too far away. If you move too far away, look to your map for the transfiguration's area of effect. Speak with Ishchola to restore or prolong the transfiguration. Okay. Uh. Ribbit, ribbit, ribbit. Alpha Toad and Alitoad are now accompanying you. <laughs> Keep them at your side in order to proceed with the quest objectives. You can leave your quest companions behind by entering a different area, putting too much distance between you, or by speaking t with them and selecting the option to part ways. If you wish to have your companions join you again, return and speak with them at the original location. Okay, so... I see. So we're going this way. This is bizarre. Like, I'm not mad about it, but... <laughs> How silly. Look at us. We're so cute. Hippity hoppiting. We weren't really. We were just kind of like waddling along. <laughs> yep. Me too. Ribbit, ribbit. I trust you will find your compensation oh. to be more than satisfactory. We wish to make clear that we are pleased with the efficiency and thoroughness of your work. So much so that we have come bearing new tasks in need of your competent hand. Another lengthy list. If I may speak frankly, the cleaners have been pushed to the point of collapse by your unending demands. I should make a ribbit sound alert. We are not familiars to be exploited. We are Charlie and scholars, and we deserve an explanation for this unseemly treatment. What is there such urgency? That's what I'd like to know. In an age long past, Charlian was charged with a momentous duty. <laughs> duty. And now that word of the final days hangs heavy in the air, the time has come for us to fulfill that charge. Okay. I can say no more, but I promise you this. All will be revealed in due course. And... Oh, I mean to click there. Then I will do your bidding, for now. But unless you wish the cleaners to rise up in protest, I advise you to offer tangible improvements for our working conditions. Your promised okay. revelation does nothing to address present circumstances. A fair point. Your concerns will be conveyed to the forum. Okay. 
That gives me lots of confidence. Does he know? How does he know? I hope that was informative. You may consider my How did he know? While I do have my reservations about the forum, I want to believe that they have our best interests at heart. Mm. Which is why I'm reassured that you're busy sniffing out the truth of things. We can ill afford to place all our eggs in one basket. This master plan of theirs without first understanding the risks involved. That's true. <laughs> but how did you know? Wait, how did you know it was us? If you mean to impersonate the toad, try studying the real thing. And don't try to fool an expert. Our toad impression was bad. Apparently. <laughs> Too much ribbiting. Not enough hoppiting. I suppose we should have known a gleaner who specializes in, in animal procurement would not be so easily deceived. Yet he seemed inqu inclined to put his trust in us all the same. More importantly, perhaps, we've discovered a new piece of the puzzle, this momentous duty the forum agent mentioned. Charlene has been called to action, and the teleferized declaration was the catalyst. Whatever charge it is they hope to fulfill, they deem it of sufficient import to disrupt all of Labyrinthos, not to mention it, ignore, a a or is, mm, ignore a Eorzea's request for aid. Okay. Alize is staring off in the direction Arenvale departed, a thoughtful look on her face. What duty could warrant the direct involvement of the forum and the commitment of all of its resources? Judging by what we just heard, none of the gleaners were offered any kind of explanation. At this point, it seems abundantly clear that we'll learn nothing new by pressing them further. We should head back to Ischola and Kryl for the moment, see what they think of this. Okay. Welcome back. I trust you found Aaronville then? Uh. Interesting. I had a feeling you would learn something important, even if that something was simply a confirmation that no one knows much of anything. Okay. <laughs> we should share this with Kryle, then discuss how we'd like to proceed. Assuming we find her back at the farm, she was still behaving oddly, so I bade her return and rest there. Perhaps not the best decision in hindsight. Would you mind checking near those flowers she was so entranced by? The rest of us can survey the more distant areas, just in case she decided to wander. Sure. I can do that. When I was like, I'm directionally challenged both in real life and in video games, this is the kind of shit I was talking about. I'm, I'm gonna guess, take a wild guess, that it's over here where all these people are. Jesus. Yep. <laughs> it was a lot of people. Suddenly they're gone. <gasps> what happens? Does it change color? What you doing? For you, the spell will keep it from wilting. Aw, that's so sweet. She said you would need it for the journey ahead. She? Will you speak with her now? I cannot hope to match Minfilia's clarity, of course. Oh. But... So she's been speaking to you also. Thank you. Do not worry. 
She has lent me her body for only a moment. Just as I could not save the first from the flood of light, it has become arduous for me to interact with the physical. I know what she, her voice sounds like. Though I might converse with you for a time, the incorporeal form I assumed on the ship would be incapable of casting even the simplest enchantment. It is in the depths of the ethereal sea, the place to which all life returns, where my influence is greatest. After Menphilia's sacrifice on the first, it was to the sea, here in the source, where I ferried her soul. I wish that gentle spirit to find rest in the world she loved so well. It's making me like kind of emotional. Who may yet have a part to play, though that will depend on you. Take the flower, walk free, for you are free to go where you wish, to believe what you will. That bloom will be your guide, test and proof of your conviction. In darkness, seek joy. Surrender not to sadness and see beyond despair. Is the game audio loud enough for you guys? Bear the light for others to follow. Together, raise it aloft and let it shine till the end, blinding and radiant. Where did I just put it? It's gonna get crushed. Oh no. My laptop speakers are poopy, so it's hard to say, but for me it's very quiet compared to you. Okay. I'll turn it up. My apologies if I startled you. Ever since we began our descent into Labyrinthos, I had sensed another's will, straining to reach out. Is that why you were all... dazed? Even with my particular talents, though, I was unable to make a connection at first, so weak and tenuous it was. Once I took hold of that wispy thread, Imagine my surprise to discover it was Heidelin herself. Needless to say, it seemed wise to learn what we could before letting go. Her answers were more cryptic than I would have liked, <laughs> but at least she left us with a guide of sorts, that unusual flower. Yeah. <laughs> yes, we are definitely making progress. You can't be serious! We've done nothing wrong! Uh-oh. I mean, technically, we went through a mineshaft thing that we weren't supposed to in order to get around the rule that you're not supposed to take the lift, so, like... We've done... We've done plenty wrong. We also have been talking to all of the gleaners. Is that what their names are? Sorry. Oh, Shino, what business has the forum with us? Well, here we go. Here comes the drama. Obstruction and suppression, apparently. Mm, I love when this when this music comes up. The drama. Mistress Baldessian. Our records show you facilitated the Scion's entrance into Charlian by claiming them as assistants for your organization. Yeah. We are aware of your investigations. After alerting the major institutions to the presence of potential troublemakers, we received word from an Archean custodian. Kay. A group operating under the auspices of the students 
skulking about Labyrinthos and engaging in clandestine behavior. I feel like clandestine is a strong word for what we're doing. Clandestine? We may not have entered Charlie and Scions, but we did naught to conceal our identities. That's also true. We gave our names. <laughs> our only purpose in this city is to seek the truth. I can think of no reason why our actions should warrant the Forum's intervention. Tis not our way to discourage the pursuit of knowledge, but the timing of such pursuits must be considered, not to mention their potential impact. Like, like, would you say impact, like, saving the fucking world, or... We're done. We're just... That doesn't matter. With the world in chaos, we, the true caretakers of wisdom, have committed ourselves to an undertaking that demands the utmost discretion. Uh-huh. And we will not risk its success by turning a blind eye to disruptive foreign elements in mm. our midst. Okay. What, then, is to be our fate? Will you put us on a ship back to Eorzea? The Forum will convene to examine your case. The results of said inquiry will determine your future in this Jesus. city. Jesus. As for your absent companion, he has what? already been detained. Which companion? Who's absent? Graha? Graha! But why? Is reading a crime now, too? Always those foreign elements causing problems, you know? Definitely not the corruption of the system. Definitely not. Why would we look inward when we can look and blame people external to us, you know? Like, come on. Don't be silly. Reading is encouraged, celebrated even. Not, however, of the volumes shelved in the restricted section of the library. Oh, Graha, what did you do? <gasps> Everyone's shocked, except Ishtola. <laughs> Refusing to comply will only make matters worse. Let us instead treat this as an opportunity to open a dialogue with the Forum. I guess. I'm already regretting this hair choice. Silence is often one's best defense. I would advise against prolonging the proceedings with frivolous discourse. I would advise against giving me that stupid look on your face. Mr. Scholar, I don't know if he but knows enough. about me. This is not the place but for debate. But I could the defeat Rostra you await. with my pinky finger. Not to brag. But I do like your dress. Just kidding, it's ugly. I forgot there are like 99 of these people. And we're gonna stand in the center of them. Forgive me. I was careless. Mm. We would have been detained regardless. This way, at least, we managed to stay together. She's not wrong. Like, they just needed a reason. I trust your time within the Forbidden Archives was well spent. Um... Forum will come to order. This inquiry is now in session. As speaker elect, I will be presiding over the day's proceedings. Okay. Who are you? Barnier. Master Fortuner, would you be so kind as to restate the matter which compelled you to summon your colleagues with oh, such he's annoyed. urgency? Good. That's to our favor. Why is this not doing what it's supposed to be? Oh, okay. Sorry. <clears throat> 
As you are all aware, we recently denied Eorzea's request for Charlian assistance. Uh huh. Since then, certain individuals dissatisfied with our decision have taken it upon themselves to interfere with our work. How exactly have we interfered, though? They entered our nation masquerading as associates of the students it's of Baldessian. It's kind of Baldessian. funny that I'm the but tallest these one here. these are better known as the Scions of the Seventh Dawn. Malcontents. These militants wield influence with both the Eorzean and Eastern alliances, and wow. are inextricably involved with the crises presently afflicting the world at large. <clears throat> if Loose by involved you mean... These trying to solve to it. With and expose I'm warmongers. Of state Jesus what are they, Christ. Not a dire threat to be expelled. I don't know, like your only fucking hope. I don't know. I'm just spitballing here. Maybe like people you should you have work with. The good name of the students. Galuk would be ashamed. Hmm. What's on their heads? Um, I don't know. Galif I think it's some kind of never one to forsake bell. his fellow man. <laughs> Even if this nation closed every door and retreated from the world, he would have found a way to help Obviously, the that Sions, little tassel, you know, use that to fight back ring the bell. The coming doom. You can ring their bell. Okay, this is serious. We should be paying attention. A terrible enemy stands poised to lay waste to all we hold dear. In the face of such madness, Eorzea reached out to Charlian, a respected ally, in the hopes of forming a united front. Was your curt dismissal truly the best you could offer? Hmm. Or are you so preoccupied with your momentous duty of an age long past that even the end of the world is unworthy of your attention? She's so good. I love her so much. <clears throat> Whence came this revelation? from the mouth of a forum member within fortuitous earshot. Nice. You go, Ishtola. Then it seems your findings support my own. What did you find, babe? The reason I visited the restricted shelves was to study records of the forum's policy-making process to better understand the historical trends underlying their most major decisions. Uh -huh. At first glance, the positions of neutrality in war and the accumulation of knowledge above all else appear constant and consistent, the unchanging pillars of Charlian society. But... And once upon a time, I might have left it at that. These days, however, I am more attuned to the subtleties of governance, and so I noticed something... Odd. Look how proud of himself he is. From a particular point in time, the purpose of these policies shifted. Tell us more. No longer was knowledge preserved for the benefit of society. Rather, society was to be gradually reshaped to ensure the preservation of knowledge. The most conspicuous and telling change was the one which befell Labyrinthos. Once little more than an oversized storehouse, an enormous allocation of funds saw it transformed into an advanced research and archival facility. I also discovered a fascinating account on the finances of our Dravanian colony. The settlement attracted students from far and wide and the connections and tuition fees thus acquired were funneled into further improvements for the archives. 
Now, there is no question that our nation's progress is tied to the acquisition of wisdom. Nevertheless, the vast resources diverted for this purpose borders on the obscene. Tell him. But returning to the matter of when, our change in course appears to have been made some 270 years ago. I like how this guy is just like still standing. Everybody else sitting down. <laughs> the very same period when Charlian scholars in the hinterlands began a formal study of the ethereal sea. Coincidence? I think not. You found something, did you not? And whatever it was, gave rise to your oh so important duty. <laughs> With such disdain. Mind your tongue, Archon. If you had seen... Uh, what? Yes. We are bound by a duty we cannot ignore. Did you guys make some, like... illicit pact with something powerful or something? You guys fucked up, didn't you? Knowing this, what would you have us do? Abandon our vital work and join you on the field of battle? How about just like open your resources to us so that we can figure this shit out? Like, I don't, I don't know. We will never choose the way of the sword. We will fulfill our mission, not through strife and bloodshed. I don't think anybody, survival. I don't think anybody asked you to pick up a fucking sword. You probably don't know how to use one, if we're being honest. Come what may, we shall live on. We must. Not if the world ends. Do as you must, then. For we scions will fight until the heavens fall, until our last breath. Why are we looking at your shoulder? <clears throat> Father, I... Master Fortuna. I fail to understand the stance you have elected to take. But by the same token... I have yet to find a compelling argument to counter the challenge you put to us in Gradania. Still, in the midst of my uncertainty. Uh. I must trust in myself to do what is right, as others have chosen to trust in me. So I will continue, as I always have, Weighing the consequences of my every action and allowing my hope for the future to inform my decisions. That's quite enough. Have you all forgotten the reason for this assembly? Um, no, but I'm sure you're gonna remind us anyway. Because we're warmongers and malcontents. And an old friend of my grandfather's. Oh. Honestly, every discussion devolves into some interminable debate. Terrible habit. Let's Actually, return I might like to him. the let's topic see what at happens. hand. Hmm? Yeah, let's. By their own admission, these scions have resolved to fight alongside the Eorzean nations against the doom which swift approaches. Correct. But there exists no evidence of an attempt to incite our citizens to do the same. That's what I've been saying, man. <laughs> he gets me. Furthermore, while our decision may well have been the correct one, we cannot simply bull our way through these disagreements without inviting doubts or objections. Put yourselves in their place. Who among you would leave a tome unopened if an elder forbid you read it with no reason given? Good point. Now, if we're to quell further discontent, 
Then we must conclude this matter with a fair and even hand. Order. We will have order. Will we? Master Montechain raises some valid points. Correct. Keeping such concerns in mind, I propose we enforce the following measures. Until further notice, the students of Baldessian are to cease any and all activities within the domain of Charlia. Why? You will also refrain from any further investigation into the Forum's decisions and duties. Failure to comply with these restrictions will result in the immediate expulsion of your Scion Associates. Okay. Let us put this judgment to a vote. All in favor, raise your hand. Don't raise your hands. Not enough, I don't think. I can't tell. Oh, maybe. I count 51 for and 48 against. Oh. The proposal is passed. Well. Students, Scions, you have heard the forum's judgment. Pray abide by it or face the consequences. I don't want this. <laughs> Honored members, I thank you for your time. This inquiry is concluded. So we've we've accomplished nothing here, basically. <sighs> Sounds about right, yeah. Politics! Well, at least we've been allowed to remain in the city. And our endless investigations have not been in vain. We now know that this mysterious duty of theirs began with whatever the form discovered in the ethereal sea. We've accomplished nothing, yep. With our freedom so sorely curtailed, however, we will struggle to learn aught more of substance here in Charlene. So now it's time to go to Thavnir.